What is going on everybody? It is me again. It's HorrorFan34 and welcome to another video. And welcome to day 29 of the 31 Days of Horror Challenge in October. Now that we are getting on to day 29 of the challenge, um, once again this is going to be one of these reviews where I'm not going to have anything to show because this movie is very rare to find on DVD. It's out of print, <clears throat> things like that. If you go on Amazon, and you see how much this movie goes for, it's amazing. But I got a chance to see this film a while back, and I still remember it very well, too. Um, I forget where how, where I saw it at. I forget where. I don't know if it might have been on cable, or... I think it might have been on one of those, like, Turner Classic Movies, or something like that on cable. I, I think that was the channel it was on, but I know I'm pretty sure I saw it on cable. And it was one of those rare films that I didn't really think they would play. But I guess Turner Classic Movies, I mean, anything's possible. <clears throat> but you can tell by the title of the video already, it, this is a really underrated film, too. I mean, it's a film called Fade to Black. It's from 1980. And directed by Vernon Zimmerman, who I don't know what else this guy directed. I don't really think he went on to direct anything after this, which is a shame. And... I mean, Fade to Black, it's a really cool premise. First off, it stars Dennis Christopher, uh, who you might, and that name sounds familiar, Dennis Christopher was in the miniseries of Stephen King's It. He played the older Eddie Kasbrick in, uh, mini, in the miniseries of It. He was the one with the inhaler, and he gets killed by the giant crab and things like that when he tries to spray him with the inhaler. That's Dennis Christopher. This is way before Stephen King's It. This was like a decade before that. And, I mean, Dennis Christopher, you know, does a great job in this film. I mean, the basic idea with the film is that you have Dennis Christopher as a guy. And I tell you what, this this movie is very, like, the character that he kind of plays, like, the kind of, like, what this guy's into, is kind of like a guy that I, you know what I mean? It's kind of like he's a, I'll, I'll, I'll get into it, but Dennis Christopher plays a guy named Eric Benford, and he's a guy who's a big movie buff. He's very knows anything about movies, about any kind of movie trivia, things like that. He He's all about movies. He absolutely loves movies. I mean, he uh, he watches films on an old uh, projector. There's even a point in the film where he goes to the movies to go see Night of the Living Dead from the 60s. And, you know, he's a big fan of, like, you know, James Cagney and Marilyn Monroe and things like that, uh, Bella Lugosi, Dracula, so he's a really big movie buff guy, and he's, and he's kind of like a guy who is, <clears throat> you know, his life's dwindling down, uh, he, he has a, he has an aunt that he lives with who's in a wheelchair who's very naggy and very mean to him, and he, he works at this, like, film distribution warehouse, and he gets picked on by his co-workers, one of the co-workers that he works with who picks on him is a very, very young Mickey Rourke. Way before Mickey Rourke was in films like The Wrestler and things like that, way before all that, Mickey Rourke was in this film. And it was really cool to see a very young Mickey Rourke in this film. But the basic idea is that <clears throat> one day Dennis Christopher meets this uh, blonde girl who almost has a very resemblance to Marilyn Monroe, and I think she's... Uh, I don't know if she's an Australian actress or British. I, I don't remember. I think she might be Australian. But she's kind of like, you know, looks like Marilyn Monroe. And there's even a point where Dennis Christopher mesmerizes and thinks of her as Marilyn Monroe. And, you know, asks her, it takes her up on an offer to go out to a movie. And, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm burping. But, uh, Dennis Christopher basically she ends up sincerely forgetting I mean and you feel sorry for Dennis Christopher and you feel sorry for the girl because she genuinely forgot that she had a meet up with him at the movies and you see him like waiting around and he finally gives up and leaves and goes home when she gets there she's trying to find him and you can tell she's upset with herself because she realized like oh my god like I was supposed to meet with up with this guy he was going to take me to a movie things like that and she didn't really mean to do it but that's that's really where Dennis Christopher really starts to lose his mind and starts to you know go on a basically on a killing spree of, on a people that did him wrong and 
the film is labeled as a slasher film, and it's really not a slasher. I mean, he does kill people, but it's but it's also kind of a character study as well. And, and that's basically what the, the premise of the film is. Now, what I'm saying is, it's kind of like a film, like, this character is kind of like, you know, me. Like, I'm a movie buff. I mean, anybody who's a movie buff can relate to Dennis Christopher. Because, like, it, he's a big movie buff guy. He knows Marilyn Monroe, James Cagney, and all these old school horror stuff like Dracula, Night of the Living Dead. He's a big movie buff. He knows anything about movies. He loves talking about movies. I mean, this is, like, the kind of character that I would be. Like, I'm a movie buff myself, and anybody who is a movie buff can definitely relate to Dennis Christopher. So I thought that was a really cool idea. And when he's when, and, and then when he's, when he's killing people and getting revenge on when he starts losing, you know, dwindling down, I mean, it's really cool how it's done, where there's a point where Dennis Christopher... Uh, you have a really cool, and it's at, it's really cool. It's one of the, I think it's one of the posters of the movie where Dennis Christopher has a half face of painted black and white of Bela Lugosi's Dracula. So there's a point where Dennis Christopher goes out as Bela Lugosi's Dracula, gets the face paint on and with the cape, and he goes after this hooker who cursed him out earlier in the film, and she basically trips and, and gets impaled on something. There's a point where and there's a point where Dennis Christopher dresses up as Hopalong Cassidy and he has a quick draw with Mickey Rourke and Mickey Rourke has a gun that's empty and then Dennis Christopher shoots Mickey Rourke as Hopalong Cassidy and uh, the, the first death that we see in the film is with his aunt and basically it's after he gets stood up from or he supposedly thinks he got stood up by the girl when, re- when in reality she didn't really mean to do that she forgot but <clears throat> he's watching a movie on his projector and his aunt's being bitchy to him and nagging him and she ends up breaking his film projector and messing it up and starts being all naggy to him and so there's a point where Dennis Christopher is watching a film where this guy pushes his mom in a wheelchair down the stairs and that's what Dennis Christopher does with his aunt uh, takes the wheelchair she's in with her in it and just pushes her down the stairs and that's really where everything starts at. And there's even a point too where Dennis Christopher uh, goes to uh, scare, you know, makes his boss have a heart attack because his boss is an asshole. And basically, he dresses up as uh, the Boris Karloff mummy from the '30s and makes his uh, boss have a heart attack. Um, and the the one flaw with the film is not really a flaw. It's kind of like a little bit of a nitpick. Is you have uh, uh, Tim Thomerson. Uh, that, that's a guy if you've seen. He was in a lot of full moon films like Doll Man, and Tr- <coughs> Trancers, Uncommon Valor. He was in. He was really good in that. Uh, Dennis, uh, yeah, not Dennis Christopher. Uh, Tim Thomerson plays a psychiatrist, like a criminal psychiatrist. At the end of the day, though, his character is kind of pointless. So there's really no need for that character be- to be in the film. Because he doesn't really serve any purpose to the story, but still, I mean, Tim Thomerson. It's always nice to see, always nice to see Tim Thomerson. I think he did a good job, but his character at the end of the day was kind of pointless. And there's and another really cool moment <clears throat> <coughs> is when Dennis Christopher is uh, going after this producer guy, and, sh- and he shoots him with a Tommy gun. There's a point where he's uh, he's dressed up and. He puts his hand through like this, through a Halloween poster of the John Carpenter original Halloween. He puts his hand right through the poster uh, before he shoots the guy with a Tommy gun. So this is what I mean. It's really creative. It's interesting. Like the way he's killing these people, he's dressing up as different movie characters. Like when he when he kills Mickey Rourke, it's Hopalong Cassidy. When he kills his boss, it's the Mummy, the Boris Karloff Mummy. With, with the hooker, it's Bela Lugosi's Dracula. And there's another cool moment, there's, there's a nice reference to Psycho, where Dennis Christopher is dressed up as the Dracula character, and <clears throat> you have the, the girl that he was supposed to meet up, that she was supposed to meet up with, uh, she's in the shower, and he has like the thing, kind of like Norman Bates did with the knife, but it's really a pen, because he thinks she looks like Marilyn Monroe, and she screams, and he's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I just wanted your autograph. 
So, and you have like kind of like a little bit of the Psycho music in there as well. So, a nice little nod to Psycho. Uh, you, you, you can tell how much I really love this film. I don't want to say too much more about this film. I know I kind of said a lot of the main stuff, but I'm not going to say how it ends or anything like that. But it's much more, you know, it's much more, you know, helpful if you watch the film to get the idea of, like, of the scenes I'm trying to explain. I mean, if you can, if there's a way you can find this film, you, you can watch this somewhere or something like that. It's definitely well worth a look. I think Dennis Christopher does a good job. Always really, it, it was really cool to see Mickey Rourke, also another supporting character in a small role that one of the other co-workers that Dennis Christopher worked with is Peter Horton from Children of the Corn. He has a small role in this. Uh, I think the girl who plays like the Marilyn Monroe type character did a good job as well. I think it's very well directed. And it was just a really cool idea for a movie about a movie buff guy going out as different characters killing people. I thought they, I think that's a cool idea. But I'm not going to say much more about that. So that's pretty much it for my review for Fade the Black. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys next time.